A coalition of soldiers readying to fight. But they're not all Ukrainian. Some have come from halfway round the world. I'm from Australia, it's quite, quite far away, quite hard to get here, and um, even I stepped up. This Australian just one of a growing number who say they're defending Ukraine. Well, I think it's uh, fantastic, I think it's an opportunity. I think since, um, since coming here it's been amazing how many people from all around the world have come together to help out a country in need. Australian fighters are risking their lives, but it's not clear if they're breaking Australian law. Dozens of Australian citizens and Ukrainian dual nationals are believed to have travelled to Europe to join the war effort, although no official figure has been released. Our message is that you know, Australians should not be participating in, in, in foreign conflicts. But these men say they're fighting for a noble cause. We are on the right side of the history, so we're going to make sure all of us are going to get back. In the key battleground of Donbass, Ukrainian soldiers need all the help they can get, dug in trying to hold their lines against the Russian advance. The enemy is approaching on two sides. Ten Ukrainian soldiers a day are being killed in the conflict. Constant airstrikes, artillery and rocket attacks. By this morning, the total number of various Russian missiles used against Ukraine is already more than 2,500. As these fighters try to hold their ground, trenches are being turned into graves. Andrew Green, ABC News.